Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cute little personal Q&A for you guys. I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see a personal Q&A or a new series part one that I wanted to do. And the first thing you guys wanted to see was this Q&A. So we're gonna start with that. And then the next video after this will probably be my sustainability video series part one. That is my announcement for you guys. <laughs> As for today, like I said, we're gonna just dive right in to answering your pressing questions. So let's get to it. Don't forget to like this video if you wanna see more videos from me and subscribe if you wanna see more. Let's get right into it. So for any of you guys wondering, I'm Emily, Emily Diane, Emily Diane Fit, Emily Al Harazi, all the names. I don't know what you wanna call me, but I just turned 23. I live in Guelph, Ontario, and I, love fitness, love lifestyle, love vlogging and Instagram and all those things. I have a cat and I live with my partner Isaac in a nice little basement apartment. So that is a little bit about me that people didn't ask but figured I might as well just give you guys the basics before we dive right into the questions. So before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who asked a question. You guys had really good questions this time around. I screenshotted all of them on my phone just so I'm prepared and I think I can get through all of them as long as I'm quick like a cat, so I think we can do it. The first question that I received is, do you have any plans on getting your personal training certificate? And the answer is yes. The biggest thing right now that's holding me back is finance, so I can't afford to do the certificate at this time but once I feel more comfortable with myself once my loans are paid off or at least like I start to pay them off and I feel a little bit more comfortable I definitely plan on getting my certification it's definitely been something on my mind for like over a year and a half now and I really want to do it I have definitely looked at CanFit Pro that's like the number one in Canada but I'm definitely looking for something mostly online with like a practical in person and an exam in person just because like time management is definitely something I need to focus on when it comes to that too because I have a full-time job so I can't just skip a whole week of work to take this course. So something online is definitely more in my favor, but we'll see. The answer is yes, I do plan on getting it. The next question someone asked me is, what is my perfect day of meals? What does it look like? This is hard because like, if you are asking me my perfect day of like healthy living, I would say, you know, start off with a smoothie bowl and a cup of coffee. Then for lunch, I would probably have like a shrimp salad with like sliced almonds in it and like a vinaigrette. That sounds really good. And then for dinner, I would probably have some type of like, I don't know, healthy pasta dish, <laughs> like a chicken pasta dish. And then like a side of beans or asparagus or something like that. That sounds really good. But if we're talking like perfect day and not caring about health, still I would have the smoothie bowl because I just love that. This My lunch, I would probably have like tacos or some type of Mexican food. And then for dinner, I would probably end up having still like pasta or honestly, can I have ice cream for dinner? Because I would do that too. The next question I got is what are some YouTubers that I would recommend you guys watching? And I guess it really depends on like what you enjoy watching. For me, I really love watching anything to do with fitness, anything to do with sims, and anything to do with just like vloggers. So my absolute favorite YouTubers at the moment and for a long time have been Megan Hughes, Lindsay Hughes, Gabby Cheyenne, Whitney Simmons, Delicracy, Lil Simsy, and recently I've been absolutely loving the content bug just because she is super helpful in this time of need as I'm trying to grow my channel. But yeah, I will have all of their channels linked down below for you guys if you're interested because they definitely just make me happy and I'm sure they would make you happy too. Those are my favorite YouTubers at the moment. The next question I got is what are my favorite supplement brands? So I'm gonna be going into a huge other video about what supplements I take and what brands I would recommend. But for right now, I'm just gonna say straight up that my favorite brands are probably GNC, First Form, GNC, First Form, and probably Prozies, I would say. Mainly because those are all reasonably priced and just have genuinely good products. So I'm just gonna say those for now. I will go into detail in another video, don't worry about it. So someone also asked me what my Instagram goals are. So I don't know if you mean just like long term or for the year, but I would say for the year, I put in my phone a while back, like at the beginning of 2020, that I really wanted to try and reach 5,000 
followers and right now I'm on like halfway there. It does definitely take a long time. I've definitely plateaued and flatlined over the last like few weeks, but who knows? We'll see. Maybe my content will get better and quality and all that stuff. I don't really know. I'm still learning, but I genuinely would want to get up to around 5k by the end of 2020 if possible. We'll see. If not, I just still genuinely love my platform and helping you guys out no matter how many people. That's my Instagram goals. So the next question someone asked me is, what is the most interesting place I've ever been? And the most interesting place? I don't really, like it's a hard decision. I think I would like to say Greece because just like topography, like the way that their environment is, like their islands are super hilly and it's just so cool. The way they have their architecture is really cool. And then also their history, like I went to the Acropolis and the museum and all those things and I genuinely love it as well as like the little streets with all the restaurants. Like it's definitely one of my favorite places I've ever been. But also Switzerland was very beautiful because of all the mountains. So probably Greece or Switzerland would be my answer. Someone asked me a question that I'm actually having a hard time thinking of an answer for, but it's what job would you be terrible at? And maybe I should get Isaac's intake on this. Let's ask Isaac. Isaac, what job would I be terrible at if I got hired at a job and then I ended up just being terrible at it? Mathematician. Mathematician? Yeah, or like a chemistry teacher or something. Okay, confirmed. Mathematician or chemistry teacher. I think those are the two we've decided because I suck at both, so those are my answers, and I have no shame in that because I hate math and I hate chemistry, so. All right, guys, the next question that I have is, what is the biggest challenge in my fitness journey, or what has been the biggest challenge? And the biggest challenge to this day, no matter what, still is my nutrition. I, I mean, I don't, I would say I used to have a lot of really bad binging habits, and now it's just a matter of, like, proper portioning at the end of the night like I always eat super well for my lunch and my breakfast but when it comes to dinner and dessert no self-control so that is something I really need to work on and I always have had to work on I think I had like the first eight months of my fitness journey I was so good when it came to eating but to the point where like I wasn't eating enough so I just need to get to that happy medium and it's a really hard place to get to so still working on it to this day but eventually we'll get there Oh, I like this question. Okay, someone asked what the meanings behind my tattoos are. So, I have four tattoos. Uh, one of them is a stick and poke, and it's just like on my finger here. If you can see that. So, it's just a little like equal sign, and it literally just stands for equality. That's that one. I also have one behind my ear. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but we'll try. I hope you can see that. But that happy face, I got really spontaneously like the summer Isaac and I met, and <laughs> we... He got a different tattoo and I got this one, but super spontaneous nonetheless. And it's basically a happy face just to remind myself to always be happy and positive. So, super random, but I really love that one. I also have a yin yang on my back. Super hard to show, so I'm not going to. That was my very first tattoo I ever got, and I think I was 18, maybe 17. I was 17 because I had to get my mom and dad's permission. That one, I mean, self-explanatory, yin to yang. It's just all about balance, all about, you know, the light, the dark. Just, again, kind of like equality in a way. So that's another one I got. If I find a photo, I'll put it right here so you guys can see. I think I have one on my Instagram, like my personal one, so I'll find it. And then my last one is the one on my arm here. So this one just says love and it is in my grandma's writing. So my cousin, Ali, and I both got this. She got hers like more on her wrist and I got mine here. And it's just from a card that Ali found um, that said love grandma on it. So we were like, that would be so cute to get our grandma's writing because she passed away when we were little. So yeah, this definitely is the most meaningful like to my heart and both, all of them are super meaningful, but this one definitely means the most to me. I just love it so much. Okay, someone asked me what motivates me to create my YouTube videos and I don't think I really require motivation to do it because out of all the hobbies I have, other than like working out and fitness, it's what I enjoy the most. Like I genuinely will, I don't even know how to explain it. I just don't need motivation because I love it so much. Like I just want to do it. It doesn't really require motivation. Like I just genuinely want to do it. And so I just do it. I don't really know how to explain that, but it's just fun to me. I don't like sit there dreading doing it. Like the editing process, the recording process, the posting process is all just 
super fun to me and if this could eventually become like a job for me that would be amazing but I know that that's not always the case and if it's not the case like I said I just love doing it so yeah someone asked what the best thing to do in my hometown is and I don't think I've ever actually shared maybe where I am from but I'm from uh, like the Niagara region in Ontario and so I guess what I would say is the best thing to do would maybe go to Niagara Falls in Canada. We have Clifton Hill, super fun, like lots of arcade games, we have fireworks there, there's a casino if you're old enough, all that stuff. So Niagara Falls is probably the best thing to do in my hometown area. As for like the specific area that I'm from, there's not much going on. So I mean me and like Shelby would always go to like the outlet malls or go shopping or go to like a thrift shop like Valley Village or Plato's Closet, something like that. Like those, it's just like a normal city. There's not really much going on there, but just like 20 minutes away is Niagara Falls. So that's what I would recommend doing. And the last question that you guys have asked me is what my favorite activewear brands are. So I definitely have a few and it's changed over time, but my favorites as of right now are probably Napoa Gym Women. I will put them down below. I also have promo codes if you guys are interested. The pricing on their products is unreal. Like you basically get the same quality as Gymshark and Elfleet, but for like a third of the price. So unreal. And then I also genuinely like Lululemon. I know that their stuff is really expensive, but they actually have good quality items. So I like their stuff as well. I have a few pairs of the Aligns. I love their energy sports bras, stuff like that. I don't really know what other ones, honestly. I guess Elfly is definitely up there for me too. I have a lot of their stuff and they have really good quality items. However, they did have a few little like problems in the past with shipping and I have received items that were faulty before. So that's not to say their quality is bad. Like I, it might've just been me choosing the wrong size, but I do like their stuff. I like the style and the simplicity of it. Yeah, I think those are probably my top three. Elfly, Napoa Gym, and Lululemon. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you got to know me a little bit better. I don't really know. I've definitely done like a few of these in the past, but I have evolved and changed over time, so my answers constantly change. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little personal Q&A, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!